What is going on guys? I'm here to report back on some of the things I said in my last video about the battlefield and COD comparison. Because you know I got a little bit of flack and I completely understand, you know, um, I kind of just went in and said whatever I was thinking. You know, I've done a little bit more research. I know a little bit more about Battlefield 1 and it, uh, Infinite Warfare. The developers for Battlefield 1 said they can keep it close quarters. You know, it's gonna be like a lot like trench warfare, just how it was in World War One. Look at this guy with his goddamn melee weapon. And yeah, that's another thing. Since it's close quarters, there's gonna be a lot of melee weapons. You know, um, as you can tell by the trailer, because there's you know melee weapons right here, here, and here. Call of Duty, typically, it's, you know, six people versus six other people. In Battlefield, I think it's uh, 32 against 32. So, I mean, um, they're both games are unique in their own style. And definitely, you know, the size of the maps are going to be uh, a thing. It's equipment you can choose from, which you can also do it in Call of Duty. But, you know, as you can see in the trailer here, there's a gas mask uh, that you can equip. And it usually takes, it's going to take, you know, one slot of your equipment loadout, something like that. Um, also, in Battlefield, there's rideables, like as you can see, the horses and the planes. And um, in Call of Duty, there you can do some stuff like that in the campaign. But in Battlefield, you can do that in multiplayer and in the campaign, I believe. And, wow. and you know, in Black Ops 3, uh, there was a lot of melee weapons introduced. Which, uh, lots of people feel, you know, it's like, like half and half, like, you know, I think in the Call of Duty setting, the melee weapons don't work that well. I mean, it's cool and all, but, um, I don't think it's executed right. Infinity War did a live stream talking about, uh, you know, the, the developers got on the live stream and they talked about, uh, Infinite, Infinite Warfare. And how they want to keep it like classic Call of Duty, boots on the ground, all that shit. But I don't think that's the, like, I'm pretty sure that's what they intended, you know. They don't want to intentionally make, you know, a game that the, the community doesn't want. I think Infinity Ward is coming out with both uh, Infinite Warfare and COD 4 Remastered. Because I think they want to please both sides of the spectrum here. And I think that, you know, it's really clever on their part. Depending on, like, you know, your taste, it depends if it's going to be good or not for you. The same people who made Infinite Warfare are also the same people who made Call of Duty 4. And I think they were trying to, you know, they understand that the community uh, wants, you know, boots on the ground warfare. I mean, you know, they want boots on the ground style of gameplay. Give the game a chance if you want to. I definitely am going to, you know, it's not, you know, the whole space thing, you know, it's a different setting, but, yeah, but even though, you know, uh, Infinite Warfare has been getting a lot of negative attention, you know, you should also, like, hold your judgment on both trailers and, you know, wait for, um, wait for a gameplay trailer to come out. And, you know, with, uh, with Black Ops 2, a game that the community really favors and loves, you know, um, it got a lot of dislikes when that, when the trailer came out as well. But yeah, so, you know, hold, you, people should hold judgment to see what the gameplay is gonna be like, you know, once they release further trailers, because, you know, there's still a whole... There's still a decent amount of time left. Not, it doesn't mean like a whole lot's gonna change, but you know they haven't unveiled everything yet, so that's something to keep in mind. There's something also that needs to be like noted. You know, this is the internet, and you either love it or you hate it. There's no like, fuck. There's no in between. There's a part in the Infinite Warfare trailer where you can see a new type of weapon that's not like, you know, like a regular standard shoots bullet weapon. It looks like, you know, a gun from Halo, kind of. It looks like it's shooting some type of plasma energy or some, you know, something along those lines. So, you know, Infinity War is doing their best to please both spectrums. Just stay open-minded. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be cool. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Later on, I'm gonna do a giveaway, so if you're subscribed, um, you know, you have a chance to enter. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.